Do you want to add custom fonts to your WordPress website? Well, keep watching. In this video, I'll show you three methods you can use to add custom fonts to WordPress. Adding fonts is an easy way to customize your site and make it stand out just a little bit from the rest of the crowd. And the best way to do that is you want to come up with probably two fonts, one for the heading and one for the body. If you're not really sure which fonts you want to use, then head over to font pair. And you can quickly look at what the heading and what the body looks like. And you could scroll through and you see the pairings like this. So you can pick the pairings that you want and then we can go to the next step. For this tutorial, I really like the Open Sans and the Laura fonts. So I'll be using that for this video. To get those fonts, head over to the fonts.google.com and we need to search for the fonts. So Laura was one. This is the one I want. I'll click on it. And I want to select this font. And the great thing about the Google fonts is if you scroll down, you see popular pairings with Laura and you see Open Sans is one of them. That's also the one I want. So let's click on the plus button there. And now down here, you see that we have two families selected. Let's open this up and we want to make sure that we have embed selected. We want to make sure that we have standard as the type that we're going to do. And I'm going to need to copy this bit of code. So I'm going to highlight this right click and copy. And now we need to add this to our website. So let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. I'm going to put this in expanded mode so you can see more of my screen. And we want to head over to plugins, add new. To make it super easy to add this bit of code, we're going to install insert headers and footers. This makes it way easier for you to add code to your site without going into the theme files. So the insert headers and footers by WP Beginner, this is the one we want. So let's click install now. And once it's installed, let's go ahead and activate it. Now it's activated, we can go down to settings, insert headers and footers. Under the header part, I'm going to right click and paste. We also need to save. Now we have access to the font. So now all you need to do is go under appearance, go to customize, go to additional CSS settings, and you'll want to add code like this to bring in the font. The next method is by far the easiest, and it's by using a plugin to add Google fonts to your website. Google has created a directory of several web fonts that you can use for free. And this is the site that you can look at to see what they look like. To pull those fonts into your site, we're going to use a plugin. So let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go down to plugins, add new. And in the search box, let's look for easy Google fonts. This is the one we want to add. So let's click install now. And then once it's installed, go ahead and activate it as well. Now that it's activated, we need to bring it into our website. To do that, we'll go to our appearance area, customize. Based on your theme, it's pulling in different areas. So I'm going to click on typography here and the default typography. And these are the typical, are the typical elements that are used for different fonts. So I'm going to scroll down so you can see better. So these are the different areas that you can add a different font to. We do recommend that you stick to one or two fonts, typically one font for your header areas and then one font for your paragraph. Your paragraph is the body text of your articles and the header areas are usually the larger portions that you see at the top. This is the title. So you can go through here and edit each font. So for paragraph, which is usually my body text, I want to edit this and you'll want to scroll down to find the font family. Take a little bit of time to look through the Google fonts to see which ones you like and then head back over here and then you can pick the font family that you like. For my body, I usually like Laura, so we'll check that. And then you see it automatically changed. You can also choose the font weight style. And that really shows it off. I want to keep it at regular. I want to do the same thing for my heading font. So again, I'm going to go down and click on edit font, go to theme default. And for this one, I want to use open sans. Again, you see it change here. And we can apply a different weight like that. Now, if you want, you can also click on the appearance area and you can change the font size. 17 and 18 pixel is a really good size nowadays. You also can change the line height and that is the spacing in between your sentences. 
And people like to do a lot of line height these days to get a nice white space around it to make it easier to read. So you can play with this as well. Once you're happy with the settings, you can click publish. And now your site has specific fonts from Google Fonts area. The next method you can use is by using something called Typekit. It's another free and premium resource for great fonts to add to your site. Just head over to Typekit and you'll want to create an account. Once you've created an account, head over to the fonts areas. You can click on the My Library so you can see the free and paid ones. And just go through and pick the ones that you want. All right, now that we've gone through and picked the fonts that we want, let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard and let's head back over to plugins area, add new. We need to find the type kit fonts for WordPress plugin. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install. And once it's installed, you'll need to go ahead and activate it. Great. Now that it's activated, you can either go to settings from here or you'll find it also under settings here, type kit fonts. And we need to add the type kit kit ID. So to do that, let's go back over to type kit. Up here, we'll go to recent kits. Pick the kit that you've just created. We want to click on embed code. And since it's asking for the type kit ID, we're just going to copy this information. Go back to my site, paste in the type kit code. And we'll just do the CSS link, which is the simplest. Now we can click Save Settings. And again, to bring in those fonts for the site, you'll just need to go to the Customize area and add the custom CSS to your site to bring that in. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.